Australia's ambassador to Ukraine labelled the program the journalistic equivalent of a bowl of vomit, slamming it as pro-Putin Kremlin propaganda. The ABC's coverage of the Israel-Hamas war prompted more than 3,000 complaints. It was once a respected and trusted voice, but these allegations of bias have again prompted the question... Do we really need a public broadcaster? ABC Managing Director David Anderson has rejected suggestions it's compromised by any left-wing prejudice, but many Conservatives say the taxpayer Goliath's one-sidedness is making a mockery of its charter obligation to be neutral. Our next question for the jury, does Australia need a public broadcaster? Joining us now is Morris Newman, former ABC chairman, and Parnell McGuinness, a former ABC contributor, now Sydney Morning Herald. Herald writer and Agenda C managing director. Hello to you both. Welcome Hello. to the jury. Thanks for joining us. Now, Morris, this is interesting because you were once chair of the ABC, but now you say we don't need a public broadcaster. What's made you change your mind? When I was at the ABC, I was concerned about the level of bias. I actually gave a speech to 200 of the top people within the ABC. It brought the roof down because I said they need to be more curious, particularly on questions like climate change. I was shunned from that moment on. There was never another one of those meetings. And it was because they have their own fixed views. The ABC is a staff, uh, a self-serving staff collective. Mm -hmm. And whatever is the, the particular topic, you can bet your life that there's a predictable uh, uh, position that they bias. will take on it. It's a, and it's a clear bias. Okay. Why we bother to argue the case, I have no idea. I mean, it is so obvious. OK, well, Parnell, on the other end, you still think that we need a public broadcaster. Why? I do. Um, I think it's actually a really important cultural um, unifier. So it's very important for a country to have a number of institutions in which it sees itself reflected. We can argue about whether the ABC is doing that adequately, but that doesn't mean that we should think about abolishing it. So, I mean, for instance, Likewise with Medicare. Medicare is not always perfect and it is much better when it's supplemented with private health as well if you can, but it doesn't mean that we would want to abolish Medicare. There's a principle of universality which is important and that certainly transfers into the cultural realm as well. But, um, sorry, with, yeah. with due respect, Medicare is not analogous with public broadcasting. Public broadcasting was set up in 1932 in order to unite the country. Everything I see that goes on at the ABC is dividing the country. But we wouldn't and abolish we... Medicare because one thing doesn't work about it. We shouldn't abolish the ABC. It should be reformed. It does need it does need work. It's beyond but... reform. <laughs> it's, I don't think we should, we should... It's like saying that because the country votes for the Labor Party, we should abolish democracy. Nonsense. It means that you need to make stronger arguments and get better and stronger institutions so that you can prosecute your case. But does it lack self-awareness? It can lack a lot of self-awareness. I will absolutely um, accept yeah. that. So a lot of the time, the, the problem with the ABC is not... Well, in a way, it has a lot of self-awareness. It's not able to put that into action. And I'm sure that this is something that Morris would have seen and could back me up on. There are a lot of people within the ABC who understand the issues that are that we're facing currently, they don't particularly like the bias. What they struggle with is being able to make that change. So that is really where people, where Conservatives um, and, and Labor-leaning people, left-leaning people alike, should come together on this, that it is really important for the institution to improve because when it improves, it's not just Conservatives that get a better deal out of it, but the entire nation. The ABC is supposed to inform and entertain. There's nothing about the ABC which is distinctive. There's nothing about the ABC which goes to Australia's culture. It is a, it is a contrived culture which goes to the green left and it is totally unaccountable. There are it's, no consequences. There, there are some things which the ABC can do which what? can't be done by, by a private broadcaster as well. So recently, for instance, we saw the Four Corners episode on supermarkets and they interviewed Brad Banducci, the CEO of, of Woolworths. And he was facing a journalist who did not have to pull any punches due to commercial deals. So the ABC has that going for it, that sometimes there is an instance the in Australian which... absolutely, paragraph after paragraph, criticising Woolworths. 
there were commentaries within the uh, within the Australian criticizing Woolworths. 2GB criticized Woolworths. So it doesn't have a monopoly in any way. Absolutely. And, and but was that an effective interview or was it not? Well, I don't know. It, it put one point of view. Well, I don't he have resigned a as a result it. of that. And can interview? I make the point, sorry, Danny, can I make the point? I'm not saying that the ABC should be abolished. I'm simply saying that we, if we don't want to watch it, shouldn't be paying for it. So if people want to pay for the ABC, I have no problem. All right. If you want to put on a subscription service, fine. All right, let's get some juror feedback. Rob, do you think we need the ABC? The country desperately needs an unbiased public broadcaster. But I honestly believe in my heart that the ABC is so far gone now, the woke mind virus is through it so badly, I don't think it can be revived. Can I say, sorry, I, I keep, don't want to dominate the conversation, but I just want to make the point. All of us are adults. And one of the things that the ABC decides is that you're not able to come to a conclusion. We have to tell you what to think. And I think that's one of the things which really upsets me about the ABC. Mm -hmm. I'm accused sometimes of being disloyal because I was a chairman there for a long time, as a director before that. But the country is more important to me and the, the, uh, the, the, that we need to protect our country rather than we need to protect the ABC. I agree totally. Richard, what do you think? <laughs> uh, look, I think the ABC should stay and, if anything, it should be funded better. Oh, uh, why in the is fact that? that you're only talking about news. Yep. What about Australian drama that's on there? There are some great uh, stories, Indigenous stories, like Mystery Road, Total Control, that you guys don't take into account. Their podcasts are extremely good. The journalism, to be honest, compared to some of the free-to-airs, is like comparing Oppenheimer to Barbie. OK, right, it's okay. just so much better. Oh, well, what do you but, think about that, Morris? Well, that's the point a is point. nobody's watching. <laughs> their their, their uh, audience dropped 23% last year on the year before. But There's a million want, in the first two. The, I don't want the ABC to be popular. It, well, then, it's, then it's then not there for, for ratings. It. It's there for information. Well, as then you, you pay said for before. it. If you think it's valuable, please pay for it. Yeah. I don't want to pay for it mm -hmm. because I don't think it's valuable. Look, I, I just want to make one point Very because this is important. Even children's programs these days mm -hmm. are infected by yes. woke yes. Uh, politics, mm -hmm. and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that yes. should be undone. Well, it won't be. <laughs> All right, well, look, this is a fascinating argument. You've both had your say. It is time to call, though, on the jury. Jurors, you have 10 seconds to deliberate the following question. Does Australia need a public broadcaster? Time is up. What is the jury's verdict? OK, we have got one, two, three, four, five yeses. Yes, five yeses, and the rest of you say no, that we don't need a public broadcaster. Roy, up the back, what do you think? Well, I think the ABC, as Morris suggested, no-one's watching it. They've sacrificed their audience on, on, for their own, you know, Marxist values. Mm. And it, it, it does... I think it fulfills an important role for emergencies and to keep us as, as one unified country. But it has to change. You know, you can... And, and uh, fine, if, if the changes have a subscription service, that would be a huge shake-up and a wake-up call to the staff who have been producing material that no-one wants to watch. Yeah, that's, that's a very interesting comment. Annalisa, what do you think? Yeah, I've never seen an organisation be so unaccountable, so invisible, and be sit in front of the... Um, hearings they have in Parliament to describe why they've got ineptitude, um, risk, legal cases that we're paying for, and yet everyone walks away and brushes it all off as if nothing's happening. This isn't a public broadcaster of any independence, and I think we've known that, and we've seen our children get indoctrinated with gender ideology, um, you name it, the climate, nuts, it goes on and on. So I think we're all a bit jack of it, and I don't want to pay for it, and I'm sure my family don't want to pay for it into the Rich, future. Richard, you're laughing. Yeah, I just think that, you know, we're now blaming the ABC for, for gender ideology and that sort of thing, but we've already just said no-one's watching it. So how are they indoctrinating people if you're not watching it? The benefits of the ABC with the talent they bring through to the other networks and the shows they produce, whether they be Indigenous, whether they be gender, whether they be disabled, far outweighs... Uh, and there's shows that you're not going to see on free-to-air because free-to-air is so concerned with ratings. Yeah. 
And that's what I mean. The, the ABC shouldn't be worried about ratings. They should be worried about bringing the next generation through that will then be picked off yeah. by the free to air. Well, look, it's a fascinating argument, one that's come back to the <laughs> forefront this week with more claims of bias, but it's a good chat to have Pardell McGuinness and Morris Newman. Thank Great to speak with you. you both. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thanks very much.